Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. Uh, I hope you had a very nice weekend, and uh, hopefully you were able to join uh, Father David live at 10 o'clock yesterday morning for the Mass. Um, it was Palm Sunday, and it's always a beautiful Mass to behold. Uh, let's take a look and see whose birthdays are today. Um, oh, we have quite a few, actually, that were yesterday on Palm Sunday, and they are... So, oh, uh, Samson Lemire in 3F, Sage Lawless in 1A, Micah Schuler in 1A, and Nathan Sealer in 1A. We have a lot of birthdays in 1A today. Well, happy birthday, everyone. Now let us place ourselves in the presence of God as together we make the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus criticized the religious leaders of his time for serving themselves rather than caring for the people. When Jesus' popularity began growing quickly, those leaders felt so threatened that they got people to lie about Jesus so that they could accuse him of a crime. And this is a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Those who had arrested Jesus took him to Caiaphas, the high priest, in whose house the scribes and the elders had gathered. The chief priests and whole council were looking for false testimony against Jesus so that they might put him to death, but they found none, though many false witnesses came forward. At last, two came forward and said, This fellow said, I am able to destroy the temple of God and to build it in three days. The high priest stood up and said, Have you no answer? But Jesus was silent. Then the high priest said to him, I put you under oath before the living God. Tell us if you are the Messiah, the Son of God. Jesus said to him, You have said so. Then the high priest said, You have now heard the, his blasphemy. What is your verdict? They answered, He deserves death the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray. God of mercy, give us the courage to always speak the truth. May our words be helpful and supportive. May our actions be honest and kind. And we ask this through Christ's name. Amen. Please stand and join me in reciting our school prayer and the Pledge of Allegiance. Heavenly Father, we pray for all the students and staff of St. Christopher's School. Unite us as a community of believers and grant us the wisdom, grace, and strength to do your will. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So this week, it's a short week. We are going to be working Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And then we have Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and Easter Monday off. So those days are just to be spent probably in prayer and rest um, and celebrating the resurrection of Jesus. Um, and yeah, just, just kind of a catch up and family time. I think we're getting to realize how important our families are to us. Um, and we're spending a lot more time together than we probably normally would. Um, and hopefully we're keeping our patience and uh, we're being kind to each other, um, but I think we we can really appreciate a lot more today uh, what we have and be thankful for it. So I hope you guys have a wonderful Monday, and I'll be checking in with you again tomorrow. Be kind to one another. <laughs>